So the last thing I want to talk about with this piece is in some ways the first thing we talk about with this piece with my students. I have them start this piece very early in the year, sometimes October, sometimes November, definitely by January. And we learn one section at a time. I think there are five musical sections in this piece. From measure one through measure 10, from measure 11 through the beginning of measure 19, from the pickup to measure 20 through the end of measure 24, from the pickup to measure 26 until the end of measure 40, and then from measure 41 to the end. There is only one dynamic marking from the beginning up to measure 10, but we actually play it with a little bit of a rise and fall in the dynamic. Particularly when I get to measure eight, I like to pull the dynamic back a little bit and do a crescendo to enhance um, the building excitement that's written into the harmony. At measure 11, huge change in style, huge. And you get one and a quarter beats to make this change. So it's nice to practice from here so that you don't accidentally come in too loud. Come in softly, but not so softly that you don't sound beautiful. Remember that it says pianissimo later on. Make sure that the mezzo piano is definitely a little bit louder. And then notice that there's a crescendo that starts in the middle of measure 15. And really, we grow all the way to the end of this phrase. So I see it as one very long crescendo through the whole phrase. is the pianissimo. And I think this is one of the two scariest moments in the piece because it's pianissimo and high. So I don't play it my very softest because I think the note should sound pretty and be, and be clear. But I'll play it pretty softly and then it will sound softer if you are sure to play the low notes that follow it a little bit louder. No one can fade like the clarinet. All the other woodwinds in orchestra are very jealous of me. So make the most of that at 24. 25 is a sudden change in tempo, and it's also a very lyrical spot. It has a natural rise and fall. The high notes are meant to be softer than the low phrase. So play the low phrase, maybe a, a bold and generous mezzo piano, so that the piano at 35 doesn't have to be too soft. The secret to making a high F not squeal or make you afraid or sound really weak is to do a subtle crescendo in measure 35 leading up to it so that you've got enough air support to support the high F. The ending, mezzo forte to forte, fairly strong when you come in at the beginning of the 6-8 and then just push out through the last line. <laughs> 